You're welcome back to MBU Reacts, and we got another death battle for y'all, man. Batman versus Captain America. I got the super serum. I normally, you know, in your head you would go like that, but it's Batman, so it's like because Batman's fought super soldiers and super beings in general, so it's like you right. I can't even give it to Captain America, even though. Normally, you would just be like, hey, it's the Super Serum. He faster and stronger than Batman, which he 1,000% should be because he's a super soldier. Yeah. You never know. Facts because plus, we thought the same thing with the Guts one and Dimitri one. And plus, Batman know all these, uh, know all martial arts in his universe. So I'm pretty sure it's a martial art that can deal with somebody who's stronger and faster than you. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Defending the weak from powerful agents of evil demands a champion who has achieved the peak of human capability. All in the name of justice. And sometimes vengeance. Batman, the Dark Knight. And Captain America, the Sentinel of Liberty. The He's with an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, we? armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Throughout the underworld of Gotham City, one name stretched here into the I'm cold so black cap. hearts of even the most hardened Batman criminals. Won't kill nobody. The Batman. I mean, he will but if he had to, a six foot for the most part, he don't be wanting to. Cost. For eight-year-old Bruce Wayne, it was helplessly watching as his parents were gunned down in front of him Just on the way back him. from the theater. That poor kid, that opera really must have scarred him. Bruce's genius level intellect and physical prowess allowed him to pick up a vast array of skills on his global journey to become the Dark Knight. He became an expert in the art of Why disguise and a master of every fighting style known to him. Why was that a stat? What? They say he had 23 girlfriends and they at least kissed 60. <laughs> you didn't see that? that no, I didn't. <laughs> Let me go back for you. Oh, hell no. That's what he said. <laughs> Uh, get holes. He became we an know. expert True. in the art of disguise but, and a master I mean, of every Wayne fighting style known to man. He's perfected escape artistry, sword fighting, yep. detective skills, stealth, has a photographic memory, earned 12 master's degrees, is an expert marksman, and is vastly knowledgeable in pressure points. And we're positive he's not superhuman? Officially, no, he's not, but he has learned to appear so in the minds of his opponents. Having been trained by the League of Assassins, Batman's greatest weapon is fear. All it takes is a glimpse Facts. of that pointy-eared shadow and criminals start shaking in their boots. He can night. disappear and reappear in an instant thanks to his mastery of stealth and the high-tech gadgets he keeps in his That's utility belt. He ain't even like his back claw <laughs> grappling hook, <laughs> smoke all. pellets, tons of different batarangs, and shock gloves. Yep. Hey, don't underestimate the shock gloves. They release a charge powerful enough to penetrate Kevlar and even stop the heart of one of Batman's most powerful enemies, Bane. But then he restarted it because mm -hmm. he's nice like that. Bane later said thank you the only way he knew how. <laughs> I'm surprised that Batman. he didn't pull something out of the utility belt to stop that one, considering <laughs> it seems to contain anything Batman could ever need, even shark repellent. Facts. Actually, that's a common misconception. The shark repellent was stored in the helicopter <laughs> that Robin was flying, not Batman's utility belt. Oh yeah, because that makes it so much less ridiculous. Batman also carries a cluster, of a cluster of this substance can be sprayed onto nearly any surface and remotely detonated. Yeah. Perfect for distractions. Or, you know, blowing shit up. Blowing Tip up. for criminals. If you know Batman's after you, avoid anything shaped like a bat. Somebody in here? Hey, that's my favorite one right here. <laughs> Something wrong? Nope. <laughs> That's my Bruce shows the right. guise of a bat to project his own fear of the flying mammal onto his enemies. You got it. However, that's not the bat suit's only purpose. Thanks to some military-grade armor he stole from his own company with Morgan Freeman's permission, the bat suit is almost completely bulletproof, knife-proof, electricity-proof, punch-proof, dog-proof, and theft-proof. Inside Batman's cowl is an array of high-tech gear commonly used mm -hmm. for listening to police scanners and communicating with allies. But in combat, Batman finds more use in its night infrared and ultraviolet vision. Also, it's built in triangulation imaging system, which hacks into the world's cell phones and creates a digital 3D map. You mean he can see everything I do just because I have a phone? More or less. Ask him where I left my keys. 
Aside from mass invasion of privacy, Batman's Ooh. resume includes Wreck such accomplishments dudes. as dodging Darkseid's virtually unavoidable Omega Beams, Facts. withstanding the vacuum of space for 24 seconds, and breaking free from a coffin buried six feet underground mm -hmm. in a straitjacket after being deprived of sleep for days, all while having a cocktail of unknown drugs in his system, along with the Joker's latest venom toxin. What the fuck? Are we positive that we're positive he's not superhuman? <laughs> that well, given his line of work, I wouldn't be surprised if he stumbled into a room filled with gamma rays or something like that, but underneath the bat suit, he is affected by knives and bullets the same as any other mortal Facts. man. Even though he usually comes out victorious, his self-confidence occasionally puts him in life-threatening situations he can't escape without mm -hmm. help. Like Bane's thank you spine durability test. Oh. But the Cape Crusader has consistently found a way to survive even the most life-threatening situations. <laughs> and Bats has no problem oh. continuously going toe-to-toe -to -toe with evil well, in the name of justice. Screen. Well, I was shooting it. From this moment on, I remember that movie. None of you are safe. Not a scream when he put the fire out. <laughs> 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 Screaming. Born to poor Irish immigrants in Manhattan uh, on July 4th, 1920, Stephen Rogers grew up with little money, few friends, and even fewer muscles. That man was Good five God, is that Steve Rogers or Jack Skellington? Somebody get that kid a sandwich. But his sheer willpower, selflessness, and desire for justice stood out. As those around him left to serve Trish in the Second World Hero, War, Rogers was NBA. desperate to fight for his country. <laughs> but due to his lacking physique and health problems, he was turned Send away. Send that nigga Tristan was 5'4". We made that nigga 6'2". I'm okay. going to the NBA. Get that nigga hella stamina at, um, at 15. This nigga went to school and hooped. And went to the NBA. <laughs> this nigga's supposed to be a soldier. This nigga said, nah, I ran away. <laughs> Go ahead. This is making a lean score in the NBA right now. Hey, from every single military organization. You think this nigga was superhuman? Meanwhile, Hitler was creating a new group of super Nazis with yep. lasers called Hydra. Hydra. Desperate yeah, to Hydra. combat this new threat, Uncle Sam began the top secret Project hey. Reaper. It looked like Fruitless Rogers would hell. finally get his hey, chance to be the hero hell. after all, provided he survived an untested, unstable, unprecedented experiment. After an injection of some mystery juice and tanning in some Vita rays, Rogers lived! And as a plus became a Nazi annihilating, terrorist thrashing symbol Thanks. of freedom, Captain America! Murder! Beating his ass! The Super Soldier Serum pushed Steve's body to the absolute limit of human we physical and mental potential. A homeless guy sold me a Super Serum once. I woke up in Danny's a week later without my wallet. <laughs> With his new body, Rogers can bench press 1,100 pounds and yeah. run a mile in 73 seconds. Yeah. By comparison, the bench press world record without the aid of a bench shirt is Eric Spoto's 722 mm -hmm. pounds, and the fastest mile run belongs to Hisham Garouche of Morocco at 3 minutes 43 seconds. That makes Rogers nearly twice as strong and over three times as fast as the most physically fit human beings in the world. Oh, he can even dodge gunfire at point blank range human. by, in his own words, seeing faster. Which is the absolute stupidest way of saying that his brain can process Facts. images faster than a normal human. Putting his new abilities to good use, he's adept in every single George form Saint of hand-to-hand -hand combat known to man. That's right, I bet you didn't know that Captain America was a ninja. Jiu-Jitsu? Kung Fu? Krav Maga? All of the above. Despite his incredible physical potential, the military initially decided Super Steve was best suited as the U.S. Army poster boy. Yeah, they didn't want him on the field. Like it was they just from like, a patriotic hey. circus. Just put it this was. costume on the dance really? floor. We ain't gonna talk about well, the first soldier. The suits not made from circus later on. Isaiah Bradley. Yeah. You no, know, they were too. What kind of circus would make a costume with Kevlar Nomex and lightweight titanium that's resistant to fire, water, and electric shocks? Some call it World War II. Yeah. Oh, I get it. But the most iconic aspect of Cap's attire is his famed shield. Facts. Composed of proto-adamantium and a mysterious metal from space called Vibranium. Vibranium. This one-of-a-kind shield was you know presented to him is. personally you know by none is. other than the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And like a badass, Cap doesn't just use his shield for defending himself. He hurls that motherfucker at just about anything that moves. The combination of the two metals allows the shield to absorb and reflect practically all kinetic energy and thus ricochet off multiple targets with only minor loss deek, and velocity. Deek, deek. Captain America utilizes this in combination with his super soldier mind 
to predict and calculate the shield's trajectory so that it always ends up back in hand, no yep. matter how many targets it has struck. Cap shield can reflect anything from bullets to lasers, decapitate vampires, and stop a blow from Thor's hammer. And if you recall, that Mjolnir cold. doesn't fuck oh, around. This giant frisbee of freedom is so cool, even Superman wants one. Thanks. Yes, I think it works. But it's not unstoppable. It's been damaged and even destroyed its yeah. fair share of times over the years, but only by cosmic or reality warping powers. Luckily, Mr. America doesn't rely only on his shield. He's boxed Thor to a standstill, was deemed worthy to wield Mjolnir, and has even managed Oof. to incapacitate the Hulk with his knowledge of pressure points. Wait, go back to that second one. Kick that man Did this guy much. just <laughs> kick the Hulk in the dick? You've got to be a real man to give the Green Goliath that. a nut check. I mean, that's the, the fastest was trying to way to piss walls. off a dude. And who don't we like when they're angry? <laughs> balls of steel that. right there. <laughs> Great big eagle-shaped freedom like, like, balls of steel. And to top reading, everything <laughs> off, not many superheroes can claim to have defeated the fearsome foursome of crack, weed, ice, and misfix. The literal personifications of actual street drugs. So you're telling me he's preaching an anti-drug message, knowing that drugs are the entire reason he became Humanoid awesome? Crack. I guess we can add hypocrite to his list of aliases. Despite being a physically perfect human, Captain America more or less has the same weaknesses oh. as any other man. His patriotic uniform can only protect him so much from stabbing weapons. And sniper yeah. bullets. God Damn. knows he gets killed pretty good by those. He did get sniped. Ah, weapons! My only weakness! How did you... No. Even in the face of death, Captain America always stands for what the United States nah, needs. That's crazy. And sometimes that's serving Hitler an American-sized knuckle sandwich. Who are you supposed to be? I'm um, Captain America. Just oh, laugh. Right. Just open up the cage, bro. Laugh, nigga. You what? It's this time whole for a death battle. battle. They just didn't have a cap. Oh, never mind. Why they had a Capcom version of that? Maybe they, maybe they would have got sued. Probably. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Batman. Yeah, you already know. Let's get it. Damn. Damn. That hit a little hard. Come back. He gonna hit you with it. Put that explosive gel on mm -hmm. it. Ooh, pressure points. Smack him. Damn. Damn. Uh oh. Oh! Hey -o. I, I was not expecting that. The cap. Hanging miserably from the light post. Captain America did have the endurance and power advantage, wrong. and Batman himself <laughs> has admitted he could lose a hand to hand match against him. Yeah, he's But like, there's I a could, big but... difference between could and would. I could survive the fallout of an airplane, but I wouldn't bet on it. Unless you're doing it, Wiz, you should totally try it. Five bucks if you make it. You're an idiot, Boomstick. Also, the fact is, Batman is more than a boxer. Yeah. His stealth and disarming skills allowed him to turn the fight in his favor. Not to mention the gadgets. Just because Cap could does see faster doesn't mean he could see hard enough to spot bats through a solid wall of smoke. Batman also regularly battles and sneaks around super beings Facts. far above your average laser Nazi. If he can ninja around Superman super hearing, there's no reason he can't do the same to Captain America. And of course, Batman has more knowledge about pressure points and fighting styles because he's mastered all of them rather than simply being adept helping him incapacitate mm -hmm. and finish off the star-spangled soldier. That was wild. Captain that America was wild. Just just hang, hang, hang in there. The winner is Batman. <laughs>
Next time Jesus on Christ. Death Battle. He hung that man. That was wild. Hung him. I was not expecting that. I thought you were just going to incapacitate him. I have a guy here that will show you how to live from now on. What the hell was that? It's a Gundam. Oh. Six Gundam. Power Rangers? Zords? Oh, yeah. The White Tiger Zord? Hey, white tigers are my ish, boy. Hold on now. Tigers are. Tigers are. Oh, 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 oh,